Well, I think it was Peggy from Color Me Influence that wanted me to do a close-up of the tree. You're supposed to look at the branches and see where you can spell out the word love. I got this from Home Interiors back in the 70s. Well, hello. Today is Saturday, November 21st. I wanted to do a quick check-in with you. I've um, been kind of busy today. So I haven't been able to track what I was doing. But we do have a birthday today. Is Texas Purdy Girl 1980s birthday. P-U-R-D-Y. Purdy Girl. I don't know what her first name is. So I'm going to call her Texas. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Texas. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. She never told me her name. <laughs> but it's her birthday, so... She gets a song. Um, also, I wanted to give a big congratulations to Tina Tetter because Tina's in Wonderland. She's in Wonderland. Oh, my gosh. Celebrate. Celebrate. Dance to the music. Oh, 100 pounds. Well, not 100 pounds. Wonderland, rather. Wonderland. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting so close because I lost 0.7 this week, so I am only 9.3 pounds away from getting to Wonderland. I can't wait. Just can't wait. I'm going to get there. I know I'm going to get there. Um, I um, helped Jim with the pool outside. We, um, we had like a leaf cover on the pool, so we had to take that off, clear the leaves off, and fold that up and put it in the shed. And we kind of rearranged the shed and the winter stuff to the front and the spring and summer stuff to the back so uh, he can just pull the uh, snowblower out and then we checked to make sure it was working before the snow came and it started up just fine and then what else did we do we straightened up the yard a little bit he fixed my sign my welcome sign we got that back hanging up I did his laundry from <laughs> when he was gone and uh, I can't remember who suggested it Please let me know in the comments below because someone a, a while back had suggested um, that I should watch The Queen's Gambit on um, Netflix. And so I started watching that today. I think I'm on episode four. Uh, it's got me hooked. I don't know a thing about chess. It's not, you know, as many times as I've tried to learn how to play chess, I never could figure, I could never master the game. But the storyline has just got me enthralled. So I'm watching that on Netflix. And I haven't really started reading anything. I can't really decide what I want to read. But I'm going to figure out something. I, I know I'm going to figure out something. And then um, talk to Christy on the phone today. I talk to my daughter every day on the phone, so I talk to her a little bit. And other than that, just been kind of lazing around, just doing some housework, doing some laundry, helping Jim, you know, straighten up the yard and the shed and that. And uh, we watched a couple shows that we watched together that I we didn't I didn't watch while he was gone. And so we watched those too. So we caught up on that. And it was different last night because um, Jim is a noisy sleeper. He he talks a lot in his sleep, but like nonsense. It's not like it's just kind of weird. And he he. I don't know, he makes noise. He doesn't snore. Well, he does snore, but I don't know. I can't describe it. It's just noises. And I've been like, he left, what, nine, ten days ago? So I had like nine, ten days with complete silence. And I went to bed last night, and I'm thinking, what is that noise? And then I'd look over, and it was Jim. <laughs> I forgot how much noise he made. But uh, I slept pretty good, even with that. As soon as I, I'm one of these people that I fall asleep, and if a noise wakes me up, I wake up, I identify the noise, and I can go right back to sleep. So, I know that the one night when I was here alone, I woke up and I thought I heard somebody walking down the hallway. And I read so many murder mystery books and I'm thinking, oh, I'm just going to play dead and listen. And then I was listening and listening and then I realized it was the, the wind and the rain hitting the window. Just like in the perfect timing, like, like that. And then I identified the noise, rolled over and went to sleep. So I was fine. Uh, I don't have any plans tomorrow other than to watch um, my YouTube TV uh, for the uh, my church services. And um, that's it. That's it, I guess. I don't have anything else planned. I watch my political shows that I still watch. And um, 
maybe go for a walk if it's nice enough. It's supposed to, I think we're supposed to get rain tomorrow, I think, but I don't know. But in the meantime, I have been praying, and I'm hoping that you will pray too for um, Ruth and her husband. She didn't tell me her husband's name, but um, they both were diagnosed with COVID, and so they're kind of fighting it. And if we could pray for them, I really would appreciate it. And then I found out that Bertie's son, William, has tested positive for COVID too. So he's not showing any signs, but he's in quarantine. So it's really, you know, like people say it's not happening, but it's happening. So you, you got to be a little bit more careful. And uh, my daughter called me. She's like all worried. And I go, you know, I'm being really careful. I'm wearing my mask. I'm not going out. I'm being, you know, staying away from people. I'm not going in the stores anymore. And um, that's that. That's how it goes. Um, a lot of you were very astute to point out that I did have some turtle cake in the freezer. I, I only had two slices in the freezer for my birthday, and uh, I have eaten them on a Sunday. I did figure them into my points for uh, every time I did it. Um, I don't show you my food usually on the weekends, and that's why I tell you that I usually go badly on the weekends. But I look back on my tracker, and I actually had losses on the week I had my cake. Not big losses. I had, think of the one week I had a .3 loss, and then another week I had a .5 loss of the weeks I had the cake. But um, I don't have any more cake. And my family likes the cake. I, I do plan on cutting the cake and setting it with their porch pickups on Thanksgiving. Um, they usually don't have the cake because they know how much I like it. And we usually have so many other desserts that they can bypass it in that. But they do like the turtle cake because it is a good cake. Uh, people know, I know I go on and on about the turtle cake. It's a chocolate cake with buttercream frosting that's dripping in frosting of chocolate fudge and caramel toppings. It's, it's delicious. I love it. Uh, if I remember, I'll take a picture of it on Thanksgiving and show it to you. And um, But I don't plan on having any left to put in the freezer. I'm going to have a, a slice of, of cake and I'm going to give good sized portion pieces out. So I'm not going to have any left in the freezer. I'm just going to do it that way. And I have, obviously, I have decided to have the turtle cake. And um, I got all my fixings for Thanksgiving, which I didn't really need to get much. I think I had to get, what did I have to get? I had, obviously, had to get the turkey. I got the turkey. And then I got the chicken broth to put, like, I make with my stuffing. And I got the bread for my stuffing. But I had all the other stuff. I had, you know, like I have the celery, I have the sage, I have, I have all the sides. Oh no, I did get some broccoli. I did. For, I forgot. I got some. Pro I like the frozen broccoli florets, and so I got some of those. So I'm all set for Thanksgiving. I'm. All, I shouldn't have to go to the store for a couple weeks. I got enough, you know, like state. I have all my staples. I just have to get like fresh produce and um, milk and eggs and things like that. So uh, I do plan on doing. Uh, curbside pickup with those. I'm going to avoid going in the stores at least for a little while so we get this virus in check a little bit better. And then uh, continue on with my plan. Point seven, I was really very satisfied with that. Um, with this medication I'm taking, it retains water and I've been drinking so much water so it doesn't surprise me. It surprised me that I had a loss because I really thought I was going to stay the same or maybe even have a slight little tiny little gain. So I'll take it, as they say. But uh, that's going to do it for tonight. Um, like I said, it's kind of a quick to the point video, but I wanted to let you know. As you saw at the beginning, I, I know that a couple people have asked me about the picture. Um, if you look at the different branches, you can spell out the word love. And... Uh, I've had the, that picture since the that picture that picture since the seventies. So um, anyway, I got it at a home interior party a long time ago. Remember when you used to do those and you come and they do the different arrangements on the board and then you'd buy everything and bring it home and it just didn't look the same. <laughs> but so um, okay, not babbling. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And as always, stay safe.